Hey Sansu, I'm Jillian Tanahar and welcome back to KSH TV. This week we'll find out how you can participate in an esports tournament, visit Ray's Crafty Corner, find out about the International Club, and watch Nikki show us some of her embroidery skills. First, let's dive into our esports tournament. Hi, do you like video games? Well then come on down to our Rocket League tournament Zoom. If you don't know what Rocket League is, it's a game mode where you have to score as many goals as you possibly can in the span of five minutes. But if those five minutes are up and the game is tight, then we enter sudden death overtime mode. Now we plan for this tournament to be on December 12th, which is on a Saturday. So hopefully you shouldn't have any plans. And also, if you can't afford Rocket League, I'll cut you a deal. The game is absolutely free. And that is a great price. And another reason you should join is because, well, we're in quarantine. We have nothing to do. And yeah, I mean, it's going to be fun. We hope to see a lot of you there. Um, but yeah, December 12th, Saturday. 4 p.m. We hope to see you there. And if you want to join, you're going to need to contact this email right here. Right here. But other than that, that's all I got to say. Bye bye Thanks, Thomas. That looked like a lot of fun. Maybe I'll join. Now, let's dive into a special holiday edition of Reyes's Crafty Corner. Reyes? Thanks, Jill. In this episode of the Crafty Corner, I will show you how you can make mini Christmas trees, a cute and simple holiday craft. All you will need are pine cones, fake or real, spray-on adhesive glue, and any color glitter. Since it's nearing Christmas time, I'm going to do two, one red and green and one blue and gold. Let's get started then. You're going to want to do this outside because glue and glitter are about to get everywhere. We simply spray the pine cone with the adhesive and cover it with glitter and then let it dry. Let's do it! Now we wait. I would suggest leaving it for about an hour to dry. Now we have finished. If you want to add more decorations, you may do that. I added little pom-poms to make the pine cones feel a bit more festive. I hope you guys enjoyed this crafting segment. Happy holidays and see you next time! Thanks for joining me on my crafting segment. And now I'm going to throw it to Kian Fresco and Andrew Tran to learn more about the International Club here at Santa Sue. Hello, I'm here with Andrew and Kiori to, for us to get to know about their club, International Club. So tell me, what is this club about? The International Club is about learning about other cultures and learning to kind of communicate with other cultures. And in many ways, that means kind of discussing with other members about other cultures. And in the process, we kind of get an understanding of careers and subjects related to cultures. And that includes culture, linguistic anthropology, international studies, or human geography, because we believe that international, being international means kind of having this holistic understanding. Why should we join this club? So, we should, so you guys should join this club because joining the club gives members an understanding of important ideas. And in the past, we've talked about nuclear weapons, cultural sensitivity, theories related to cultures, such as disappear war theory, which is kind of like a linguistic anthropology and also a little bit of cultural anthropology idea, but um, as well as the human geography concept of the de demographic transition model. So these are all very important ideas. And in the past, we've also discussed the Samoan and the Roman people, as well as deaf cultures. So we look at and ex really delve deep into these various cultures. And more importantly, we also have discussions among members that invite participation. So for all of those reasons, you guys should join. How can we join this club? Uh, Y'all can join the club by sending an email to sshsinternationalclub407 at gmail.com. Or you can just join the meeting, which is every Tuesday at 10.30 a.m. By the link to the Zoom is tinyurl.com slash intl. 2021. All lowercase and no spaces. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew Tran, for telling us about your amazing club. Make sure to contact him if you're interested in joining. Now let's go to Nikki as she showcases her amazing embroidery skills. Nikki? Hi, my name is Nicole Ramirez and welcome to my holiday embroidery segment. Today, you'll be following me along while I do this very mediocre Christmas stocking. So what I used is an embroidery hoop along with some tapestry needles, a pair of scissors, white thread, red thread, and some green thread, along with the fabric we'll be going over. And then here you can see I am putting the, the black thread through and getting ready to do the outline of my stocking. Thank you. 
After finishing the outline of the stocking, I then secured the thread on the back and I prepared the red thread to start filling in the little, um, the little stripes on the stocking. After securing the thread on the back, I then prepared the white thread to start filling in the soles of the sock as long as the little fuzzy part on top of the stocking. After securing the white thread, I then prepared the green thread to finish off the rest of the stripes on the stocking. After securing the last thread, I then went around the edge of the embroidery hoop and cut off um, most of the loose fabric that was on the back so it looked nice and clean from the front. And then that's it. Thanks for watching. That was terrific, Nikki. Thanks for showing us that. Thanks for joining us on the sixth episode of KSHTV. We'll see you next week, Santa Sue.